why have a specialty? Now, in the medical industry, we, my wife and I just went through this. Okay, my my wife is 61 years old. I'm 52. I had to think about that for a minute. I'm 52. We're nine years apart. Um, and yes, she she was robbing the cradle. I I, I know, but uh, <laughs> uh, she's 61 years old. She's never been in a hospital. Okay. Now we were in the hospital this past week, five days in the hospital in the ER, in the emergency ward. Can you imagine that in the trauma center for five days? Um, so a specialist earns about one hundred fifty-three thousand more than a general practitioner. Now a GP, a general practitioner, a general physicians we call them, have thirty percent more annual visits, and get this, they're twice as likely to work nights and weekends. Why is that? The only reason is that they're sought out, they're in demand, and they're relevant. I I can honestly tell you that before this week, okay, um, an orthopedic surgeon was absolutely irrelevant in my life. Absolute had no relevancy whatsoever. I, if I would have met one, I would have probably thrown the business card away or tucked it in. A, it didn't had no relevance to me, okay, but a orthopedic surgeon became very relevant. <laughs> about uh, three o'clock last Tuesday. Very relevant, okay? Because we needed surgery on my wife's foot. And so the the level of, when you specialize, you immediately become relevant. Now, a lot of people say, I don't want to specialize because I don't want to shrink my client base. Well, what you don't realize though, when you say that is number one, it's not all or nothing, okay? Write that down, it's not all or nothing. Right. It's not either or it's both and more. <laughs> Let me say it again. It's not either or it's both and more. Yes, you can still list any home you want. And yes, you can still have a niche. OK, I just took a listing yesterday. Nine hundred thousand dollars in Austin. It's a probate. OK, I'm known for doing probate. So one of my clients, past clients said, this gal had already interviewed with an agent, was about to sign the paperwork, and my client said, why would you list with that agent? Nolly does a lot of probate. In fact, he did this for, for our family. Oh, he specializes in probate? Yeah, he does probate. He's a specialist at probate. Um, and I've done, whew, I, can't, I can't even count how many probates I've done. I know the process. I got the, um, I got the listing. I got, the first thing we had to do was clear title. You know how long that took? Three months. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, it took three months. That's okay. Just like um, one of the things that troubles a lot of people when they pick a niche is they want now money. Okay, when you get stuck in that paradigm, you're you're you immediate you're you're losing. You're playing a, you're playing a losing game. When we got here, see, it's not you. You got to think pipeline. Patty Lynn knows what I'm talking about. See, when we were doing short sales, we had a pipeline. It might take us nine months to get paid on, on a deal, sometimes a year. I've had deals that took two years to get paid on. It didn't matter, okay, because I got, I got paid every single week, like clockwork. It was like, where's my money? Where's my money? It, I, I got paid. Why? Because I had a pipeline. At one time, I had 121 listings. It's hard to believe. Uh, but I had an inventory sheet of 121 listings at one time. That's when stuff was taking six, eight months to sell. Who remembers when that was? <laughs> yeah, some of you guys are like, we took a six month listing. Uh, some, sometimes we on our short sales, we took a one year listing. OK, that's just how it was. Now, when you get stuck in the paradigm of now money, you're you're only on the pride. That's like that's like uh, that. That's that's primordial. OK, let me say it again. That's primordial. <laughs> that's like the the um, that's like I want to say it's like the caveman. I don't know if that's politically correct. Some people get in trouble for saying things, but I mean it's like you know what I'm saying. It's like this is like man, this is this you you're talking about Homo erectus. You know that's going way too far back. Now you know g g hunting and gathering food. We got grocery stores, guys. Don't y'all have freezer? Don't you have a refrigerator? You don't have to go hunt, hunting every single day anymore. You can stock up the refrigerator. It's okay. You can go once a week. Okay. Now, when we moved here, my wife was shocked that Amazon took 12 days. 12 days. She likes it fast and she likes it now and she likes it perfect. A high D. What can I say? Okay. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, and so 
it didn't bother me none because I'm like, okay, so we've been here 30 days and guess what? We order on Amazon every two, three days. And guess what we have going on now? We get packages almost every day. Why? Because it's a pipeline. It took 12 days to get the first one, but then they just start rolling in every, every time I, you know, we got six or seven yesterday. So when you have a pipeline, it doesn't matter if Amazon delivers in two days or 30 days. It just doesn't matter. It's like once it kicks in, you're always going to get paid. Okay. And, and I wouldn't even plan to teach on that, but I, somehow that somebody needed that. So, all right. So a niche is just a division of your business. Okay. It's a division um, of your business. Not, it's not everything you do. So what are you going to specialize? You know, it could be, uh, you know, luxury properties. If you choose, it could be homes on one acre or more uh, for sale by owners. It could be new construction, uh, listing those. It, there's a, there's so many different niches. Okay. Um, and how do I know which niche to choose? Okay. Well, let's look at that. You know, based on your personality profile. Now, if you're really more on the CS scale, you're going to want something that is that has a little bit of monotony to it and systems and so on, which would be more like probate, uh, divorce, you know, things like that. You know, I am going to have a um, a uh, I'm planning on having a seminar where you can invite people that aren't part of this group just for the industry where I teach the 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 eight different where places you should be getting business right now in this emerging market you know there's eight of them um but the point is it should be something that is in your zone of genius like when you think about doing it it lights you up you get excited about it okay um now when you look at, so 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 go based on the disc or you can even go based on uh, wealth dynamics which is what i prefer you know so depending on where you are your personality profile you want to pick a niche that is complementary to your profile. Okay. Very, very important on that. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, I want to invite you out to Nolly Coaching Club. That's right. The Nolly Coaching Club is where I'm able to teach, train, and coach you every single week to your ultimate greatness. Go to nollycoaching.com and I'll see you on the inside. Okay.